As you can see, I'm out and about, and today I want to talk about the old dragon head, and that is this, the Inspire 2. Last week, DJI pushed out a rather unexpected firmware update that they say improves the performance of the gimbal. What I'm going to do today is take it for a few flights and see how it performs on this new firmware compared to the last one. Further to that, though, I want to also talk about a feature, as DJI call it, that they introduced in the last firmware that reduces the power output of the aircraft if it thinks it's having a problem with the battery. This has been a rather controversial one and some people say this has resulted in them actually losing their aircraft either through it not allowing them to fly back or forced landing. There has been reports of this new firmware actually making that feature kick in more and whilst I haven't tested it myself yet I am going to be checking for that specifically as well because I actually beta tested that original firmware last time and I wasn't able to get that low power mode to kick in however some people clearly has and it has resulted in their opinion of them being not able to recover their aircraft as they would have should that feature have not been enabled. Anyway let's get on with it first of all and let's get it in the air take it for a few flights and then we'll come back and have a look at what the situation is with this update and then talk a bit more about this feature as DJI have labelled it. Okay, so it's getting dark, so I need to try and get this bit done quickly. Um, I've done five packs through the Inspire 2, or five sets of packs, I should say, and I don't see any major problems with this firmware. Gimbal performance is very, very good. It's probably the best it's ever been, if I'm honest. I have none of the problems I've had in the past. Whilst many of these were fixed in the last update, this is very, very good. This really is good. I also didn't have any warnings with low power mode or anything like that kicking in. However, I am seeing some behavior with the aircraft feels like it's trying to restrain itself in sport mode. You can hear the motors pulsing and you can actually see the aircraft somewhat rocking to hold itself back. I don't recall seeing that in the last update, but it might have been. Uh, it's been a while since I've flown the Inspire 2 properly, so it is possible it was there before. What I'm not seeing, though, is any ground baking features, and I'll be interested to know if you do get that rocking, and if you're on, oh, I think it's 0500, the last firmware version was. I haven't checked the versions before coming out, but I'd be interested to know if you are seeing that. Now, this low power issue is a controversial one because it has, in some people's minds, caused them to lose aircraft by reducing their power output or forced landing. DJI introduced this feature to plug the problem they had with the TB50s with regards to the state of charge issue. 
The problem for many people is they fixed one problem by creating another because what they're doing is forcing the aircraft to do something when the user doesn't want it to do that, either land or even reduce the output and as a result they're not able to fly back in windy conditions for instance. Um, for me it's a tough one because I understand why they've introduced the fix because they need to fix the problem but on the other hand they fixed the problem with a new problem and they have done this before with the Inspire 1 as well. That also got neutered towards the end of its life. Whether you should upgrade to this firmware is an interesting question and it really comes down to this. If you're on the last version that had this new power feature and you don't have any problems, I see no reason not to upgrade. But if you are on that last version before that, which doesn't have this power feature and you're reluctant, then you have a choice. Is the gimbal performance causing you enough problems to potentially have issues with the new power feature. If it is, try it out. You can roll back, or at least I believe you can. DJI say you can't, but they did reintroduce the early version, and I'll double check this when I get home to make sure, but I do think you can still roll back today. Um, I personally still have never had this low power issue kick in and I'm not seeing it anymore in this new firmware, but that isn't to say it won't bite you. It seems to come up in colder conditions or conditions where people have batteries that are coming towards the end of their life. So do take that into account or if you're flying in very, very windy conditions. For some people, it means their Inspire 2 can't do things that it did before. So for me, what you have to weigh up is, is the gimbal performance bad enough that you want to try this update and potentially have issues with the low power mode. If you're in hot areas, UK, anywhere else, I don't see it being a problem. I really don't. But it does seem to be the colder, windy conditions where it is. Anyways, um, I think that's all I've got to add on this one. If there is any more, I will stuff it on the end of the video in the studio. However, if there isn't, I will leave this one there. I want to thank you for spending some time with me watching this video. Please do let me know what you think. Please do let me know your thoughts. Hopefully you've seen a bit of footage because I did put a bit of footage in between. Um, and if you've got any questions, put them in the comments and I'll try and answer them for you. Finally, let's get the shilling in. If you'd like to support us, please do consider hitting the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little bell next to it as well. Furthermore, please do check out my Patreon as well as buy me a coffee and also check out my Discord server where you can come over, say hello, and I'll try and answer any questions you've got over there too.